Hi, Courtney here of Creations by Courtney. I am back with another unboxing. Um, and no, it's not to talk about this. <laughs> but yeah, I figured that was better than just a regular old corner, right? Uh, if you're not familiar, this is the Crossroads Ruana that I released uh, this fall. It is a fun make, worth the wait. For this one, I used a King Cole uh, Aaron weight yarn. I'll put the details in the comments below. Okay, so this is now after Black Friday and I told myself I wasn't gonna shop. Yeah, that didn't work. I did get some stitch markers. I haven't been stalking <laughs> the postman as much this week, but I might have some more things in route. I was gonna wait, but I was like, ah, I've got to open this because this is just so cute. So I'm gonna start with the stitch markers first. But I also have some yarn and then I have something else, which isn't exactly crochet related, but it kind of is. It's kind of a sneak peek of what I'm going to be working on for 2022. So first off, how cute is this sticker? So this is Isla Quinn Designs. I discovered her when I attended the Fiber Focus Retreat back at the end of August. So Chaney of Cheney's Peace Corners. If you don't know her enamel pins, oh my gosh, you need to know them. Uh, you can either get it from her site or you can even find her pins at crochet.com with we crochet. Okay. I'm trying to open this and not like <laughs> tear it up. I'm like really in here. Cause I was like, something's peeking out. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, okay. There's like so much in here. This is so cute. Okay, that's everything. There's a lot. Got this, 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 and this. Look at that sticker. How cute is that? I, I just love the greens. Okay, what is this? Oh, it's a note from Quinn. Thank you for your order and thank you for hosting the roundup. It was really cool to be a part of. So yes, I did include her in my recent Black Friday deals roundup. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Again, the deals are over, but there's some amazing crochet shops as well as options for yarn and notions, right? Okay, so I showed you the cute little sticker. Like, look at that. That is so nice. This is a really nice sticker. Okay. Ooh, I think this is an extra. Okay. So again, she not only has stitch markers, she also does crochet patterns. She released a new one that's like made on the bias. It is fabulous. I've not gotten it yet. I will admit that. I have my own on it because I'm trying to find the time in my schedule to make it. But look at that. Oh my goodness. Look how cute that is with the little beads. So cute. I mean, can we ever have too many stitch markers? We can't. And what's so cute, it's like a little mini card. How cute is that? Okay, and so she includes a big card. I love these little bags and look at the box. I mean, look at how this all coordinates, right? Just look at that. All right, are you ready? I was so quick to get these because Etsy was like, there's only a few left. I was like, I'm not missing out. Oh my gosh, look at these. Okay, first off, it's in a box. But look at that. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Okay. So it's a set of three. If you want to make me happy, give me a box of beautiful stitch markers. Don't give me jewelry. I don't wear a lot. <laughs> Some days I don't even wear my wedding band. But look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at those. Aren't they so pretty? Oh, and it's so hard to tell, but I can see the light coming through these. Like, how cute are those? So, these are stitch markers by Ela Quinn Designs. I will put a link to her Etsy shop so that you can do that. And again, if you have not hit the like button, go ahead and do that. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that button so you get the notifications. I have a plan for 2022. I'm going to work on being more consistent, but I'm brand new to this, y'all. So I appreciate you hanging with me. All right. Now, 
Oh, I did this. Okay. This is, actually, I think I can get this open without cutting it. That's how we hate to cut the yarn. Okay. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is from King Cole Yarns. And I've shared with y'all before, I am one of the North American brand ambassadors for this year. So I'm super excited to have this opportunity. And that means that they do provide me with yarn. But all opinions are mine. And okay. Honestly, <laughs> I forgot what I ordered. So what's so amazing being a brand ambassador, we have an opportunity each month. The welcome box was amazing. And honestly, I've used some of it, not all of it, but I should probably show y'all more of that. Okay, so there's two yarns in here. No, that's all you see. Okay, first off, it's a lot. Ah! Okay, so let's get in closer. I know exactly what I'm making, right? Because I think about what I'm going to make before I'm like, oh, this is what I want. So this is different. I normally go for brighter colors or maybe the softer neutrals, but I was like, let me step out of my comfort zone a bit. So I decided to try the King Cole Big Value Tonal Chunky. Can you see the shades of green? Okay, do you see that? So this is 100 grams. It is 100% premium acrylic. And I will say, um, because they're a UK-based yarn company, their weights are different than U.S. yarns. Um, this is considered a chunky, and honestly, looking at it, feeling it, it feels more like a worsted. Um, or maybe a heavy worsted, but not quite like our typical chunky five. Because I have some like right here in front of me, and the five is definitely thicker. But, you see that squish? Do you see these colors? Do you see this? Let's see. I can clearly see one, two, three, four, at least four shades, maybe more. Hold on, let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's say four, could be five. So this is gonna be so fun to work up. It is gonna be a wearable. Y'all know I love making garments. And I'm gonna pair it with this. I know. Okay, this is Cuddles Chunky. Um, I will admit, I have not worked with yarn like this ever. So, fingers crossed <laughs> that this works. So, these are 50 gram balls, 100% polyester. So, that's 137 yards, 125 meters. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say, this one, 100 gram ball, oh, and 100% premium acrylic, 167 yards, okay? So, what do y'all think? Are we feeling it? Are we not? Mm -hmm. I mostly know what stitch I'm using. I know what it will be. What stitch? Not so much. But I will be jumping into this. Maybe this weekend. I'm working on another project. I've already made one. I decided to make another one. Because why not? Because it's just that fun and it's Tunisian. Oh, I mean, if we're going to share, so y'all hang it with me, look at this beauty. If you're not following me on Instagram, you may want to do that. I shared a little video where I was crocheting with this beauty. I mean, okay, let's just take that in. This is a Furls King Snake Straight Tunisian Hook. Look at this beauty. Look at that. It is amazing. Um, this was provided to me by Furls. Um, what is different about this one? Let's see. It shows better. There we go. Look at this point. This is super, super pointy. So I will say in playing with a swatch, the first few rows were a little fiddly, but that's pretty common with Tunisian because there's not much to grab. And especially because I was making a tiny little square. Um, but once I had a few rows... This point was amazing for working under that um, vertical bar. It really, really was amazing. Like, check that out. Check that out. So, this is an 8 millimeter. They recently released larger sizes in their Tunisian hooks. So, if you've been thinking about it, 
uh, so just you get on it um i do like the straight hooks for small to medium projects nothing too big and i prefer a cable tunisian hook when working with like a larger project because it just makes sense no one wants this is a 14 inch hook no one wants like a 20 inch hook <laughs> that would be so much strain on your wrist um but no oh and the big kahuna okay this was slightly impulsive because of black friday slightly kind of sorta maybe maybe not i've been thinking about it for a while started researching sunday started looking at the deals and then got the text from michael's <laughs> about cyber monday i was like bet Oh, okay, guys. I haven't even opened the box yet. Oh, it's heavier than it looks. Yes. Okay. So, if you're not familiar with the Silhouette Cameo 4, it is a die cutting machine. So, much like Cricut's. I was going to get a Cricut because, like, Cricut is synonymous with, like, making cards and signs and vinyl. But when I did my research, people who have compared them, um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with either one. Because I know some people are exclusively Team Cricut from what I can tell. Um, and then there are those that are like exclusively Team Silhouette. The Silhouette from my reviews and research, um, it just seems like it's a little bit better. Especially the software in creating your own ideas. Um, and as a creative person... I have lots of ideas. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to start experimenting with, which means there might be some things that you see in 2022 that you may want. And I hope you want a lot of them. I do. But that's all I'm going to say. But anyways, I'm going to hop off. I've shown y'all the goodies. I'm going to take some time to squeeze my yarn. It's been so hard <laughs> not to rip it open instantly, but I was like, ah. No, I'm going to wait. Oh, and by the way, my shirt, yes, this is embroidered, not screen printed. Got this from my friend Kathy. She sent it to me as a birthday gift with another shirt that says Crochet Queen. Her website is yhtac.com. I'm going to spell it to make sure that you got it right, but I'll also drop a link below. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Who knows, maybe there'll be a future video of me in this machine after I experiment some. Or maybe I'll do a video the first time out and we can all laugh together because that's just likely to happen. But anyways, if you have questions about the yarn, let me know. But I will put a link below of the description, okay? And seriously, get you some stitch markers. Let's just take a moment again. Just look at it. I would love these as some earrings. Just look at that. How cute is that? Oh, oh, and look, green and green. Mm. Different shades of green, but guess what? Green is green, okay? I'll make it work. I might just ask her. She can make me some uh, earrings. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. But no, don't forget, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future unboxings or tutorials or patterns, right? Yes, if you haven't checked out my recent stuff, I have a whole pattern video out there first time. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. But I will check y'all soon. Enjoy.